So I've all done climate change here. Nice sunny day in the autumn. And autumn reminds me of things getting a little chillier. And uh, I'm here with Mike, who's uh, doing an energy audit of this house. So what's an energy audit? Well, it's an overall look at the house and how it performs and what the house could do to improve its performance and reduce its carbon footprint. What the original structure was, was this cedar clap. It was a Cape style house. And I think they had this addition on at one point now they've gone on and added a second floor onto the house. So what we're going to do today is propose open or close cell to them and what's going to be the most cost efficient, what's going to save the most amount of money and show them the return. This also is going to be a utility job, so they're going to be eligible for 75% to $4,000 of this covered through the utility company. Huh. And they're also eligible for 30% up to $1,500 on the material through the federal tax credit. Hmm. So they can potentially save $5,500 here. some temperature differential inside corners. Yep. But that tells me he's got more air coming in that area right now. They put a whole second story on. They finished off this part already and the new construction side, they haven't done anything with. So is this audit sort of coming to figure out what's the most economical in terms of... Uh, well, it's gonna show them how much we can save it and... And save what? Save money or save... Uh, how much fuel we can save a year, what the payback should be by upgrading to a spray foam product over fiberglass. Mm -hmm. And as you can see in this ceiling down here, we come down, I'll show it to you. Yeah. The fiberglass is black. So fiberglass is basically a giant filter. Yeah. Not, you know, not a whole lot to stop it from coming through. That's why the state requires you put a vapor barrier on top of it, which would be plastic like this right here. Yeah. The spray foam performs so much better than this that the savings will be a lot faster for them. The additional cost is gonna be, you know, slightly higher, but the payback should be five to seven years in the additional cost. Mm -hmm. So after that, he starts to make money every year with his investment. Yep. So would you replace this uh, fiberglass or leave this in place and just do uh, a, a I would recommend taking it out. But that's, that's going to be in the homeowner's yep. decision. But you'll be, the audit will give, will that give a sense of what the cost savings? Yes. I mean, we, we can model this section separately in this roof line with or without the foam, with the fiberglass, um, and we'll show the average annual savings off of each section. We can make different improvement packages mm -hmm. on the model. Mm -hmm. So uh, save energy, uh, save cost, save the environment. Is that pretty much the basics? Win-win-win.